five news update that can move Tesla stock. Five Tesla news that can move the stock in either direction. Welcome back to my channel where I give you the latest Tesla news. Number one, original Reuters are discovered in China. One of the most thought after collector's items by car enthusiasts is the original Tesla Roadster. Three of the rarest Roadsters are now up for sale. The Tesla Roadster was first introduced by Tesla in 2008 with a total of 2,400 vehicles between 2008 and 2012. Several Roadsters were lost in accidents and in fires. Less than 2,000 may be left. Three original Roadsters that are brand new were found in a storage container in China. Colors are red, orange sport and very orange base. In 2010, a customer in China bought three brand new Roadsters from Tesla. After shipping to a dock in China, the buyer abandoned them. There's currently an offer for um, of, uh, $60,000 for the very orange sports roadster. There's also a bid of $200,000 for all three vehicles. Considering the vehicle's pristine condition and zero mileage, they should attract record bids. Number two, 1.1 million Tesla China recalls. Less great news. The China State Administration uh, for Market Regulations SAMR said that the recall was issued in response of a problem preventing drivers from choosing the regenerative break-in system and lack of warning when the accelerator pedal was pressed hard for a very long time. According to the agency, both issues increase the risk of collision and pose a safety hazard. SAMR also said in its release that Tesla China intends to execute over-the-air upgrades to resolve the recall issue. Tesla noted in a tweet that there was no physical recall involved and the recall itself would be over-the-air software update. Number three, is Elon giving up his CEO position? What happened? Now Elon rubbished the humor of stepping down as CEO for Tesla after a follower tagged him and asked for confirmations to the Wall Street Journal that he is not stepping down from his Tesla position. Now, the Wall Street Journal carried a report that profiled CFO Zachary Kirkhorn, suggesting that he is the one calling the shots. In reply, Elon said, obviously bringing on Linda allows me to devote more time to Tesla, which is exactly what I will be doing. Linda Yaccarino, former NBC Universal executive. Number four, Tesla tax credits in Canada. Elon is actually advocating against tax credits for electric cars. He says Tesla does not need them. However, governments around the world have incentivized EVs offering generous discounts in order to persuade consumers to make the switch to EVs. In the US, EV buyers can qualify for up to $7,500 in tax credit. Tax incentives for EVs have been more limited. However, there are certain conditions that can allow Canadians to get up to 50% of a Tesla using a tax incentive. Available only this year, 2023. The world is rapidly switching to electric vehicles. While Canada is known for its oil reserves, the country still imports foreign oil, most of which goes to Ontario and Quebec. Benefits in switching to EVs are including independence for foreign oil and creating jobs in manufacturing, research and development. For Canadians living in Ontario, there is still a EV incentive. Now, this comes from the federal government, which offers up to five thousand dollars on selected vehicle models. In Quebec, the buyers not only get the five thousand dollars in federal uh, credit, but the province will throw in another seven thousand dollars on selected models. Quebec resident also benefits for switching to EVs as gasoline prices are higher than in Ontario. Also, Quebec has cheap power. Ninety-four percent of the province electricity is generated with renewable hydro. In 2023, Canada is offering a 100% tax deduction write-off for EVs purchased as business expense as long as it's not used for personal purpose 50% of the time. EVs must be newly purchased or leased for at least three years. Obviously, there are limitations, so please contact your go local government for details. New Twitter CEO. Oh man, I was so excited, Nicole. I mean, I've been pushing for this since day one of when he took over Twitter. 
And not only did he find a CEO, he found a great CEO. And, like, what a coup for, a, you know, Twitter to, to steal NBCU's, you know, top head of advertising. And, you know, she's just an excellent, you know, executive and, and I think will be in, incredibly complimentary to Elon's skill set and is exactly the type of person – he needs to get not only advertisers back to Twitter, but give him more time to focus on Tesla as it goes through this crucially important time for the company. Elon Musk decided to hire Linda Yaccarino as new CEO of Twitter. One of the reasons was to help Twitter to transfer to the Everything app. Yaccarino is an American media executive. She was a chair of advertising sales for NBC Universal. On March 12, 2023, Elon announced that Yaccarino would succeed him as chief executive officer of X Corp and Twitter. And of course, many Tesla investors are happy to see that the Twitter board has been lifted off Elon's chest in hopes that Elon can now focus on Tesla. So I believe hiring Linda was probably a very brilliant move. And uh, pretty sure Elon has really thought over it thoroughly and of course there's a lot of opinions on twitter but we'll just have to see what the future brings thank you so much for watching give me a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you next time goodbye